morning. Looks like Mrs. Brown's been busy. Today we're starting the day off unloading trucks. We came over here to get two semis. I'm gonna take them over to the depot. We gotta change a battery on a scale head on the grain cart. I don't think we're gonna harvest today. I think we're gonna spend today transferring grain. We have about 40,000 bushel of old corn. We wanna get some of that hauled into cargo. We wanna get our big bin at the new setup cleaned out. That way we can start filling it with this dry corn. This corn is all dry enough to go directly into the bin. The field's average in 15.5, and then it ranges anywhere from 13 to 19%, depending on the terrain, but it'll be fine. It's averaging out. That's the plan. Combine's looking a little dirty. Apparently, at one time, this was demo machine number four. I said a few videos back, this was an Agco marketing combine at one time. Apparently it was number four in the fleet. By marketing combine, that means it would have went to like farm progress show, stuff like that. Been in the field, possibly doing demos. But yeah, <laughs> number four. We look like a BTO rolling down the road with uh, number four on the back of the combine. Make sure we ain't got any skunks in here. I've seen it happen before. You know what? We're just gonna back out and raise. raise well, I was wondering if that's what we were. Raise the, yeah. She's thick. Big fix. Hopefully yes. that's the hardest thing yes. we have to fix today. Yes. And people say we're not mechanics. Yeah. Jesus. Folks. It's not even nine o'clock in the morning. We just fixed the grain cart. Oh my God. We're on it. I mean, hell, we we'll probably bill for three hours for this job. Oh yeah. Let's put the lithium back where it came from. <laughs> folks, we did not bury the battery. Hey folks, today's video is sponsored by GSI. So while BJ is dumping onto that truck, I'm waiting on him, figured we'd come over here to the old grain facility. I've mentioned multiple times throughout the year that we were updating this place and doing a lot of stuff to it. And then none of that really happened on camera. So I've got a lot of questions wondering, is this project on hold? What's going on? Well, kind of both. So walk over here. There's our older GSI dryer. That part has been put on hold. We were gonna have this all hooked up over here this year. To do that, we were gonna to have to rip out all this concrete, redo the leg pit, redo the U trough. All that was gonna be redone. And it was gonna be awesome. Then it didn't happen. For one thing, the grain market took a massive hit in the past 12 months. And for another thing, actually that's, that's the main, main problem. Also timing. To do all this concrete over again is going to be kind of a, a project and well we just kind of ran out of time. Like we needed to be doing that probably in May or June and we still had grain in all these bins. So that part of the project has been put on hold but we did work with our GSI dealer Sims Construction. That's one thing I really like about working. That's one thing that kind of led us to a bunch of GSI products is great dealer support. They came out and we did flip all of our downspouts on our leg and put in new cushion boxes. So let's we'll climb up there and look at them. There's still parts laying everywhere around here. It's kind of a mess, but like I say, this is still going to get redone. Just, just not right now. So like I said, some things did happen. For example, if you've been watching our channel for very long, you know that a lot of times, when we were loading out of this old facility, that holding bin would plug up and this pipe would plug up. And we'd have to come up here with a plumbing snake and a mallet and just 
beat the bejesus out of that downspout because it's so wore out and it's at such a, such a low angle. Our dealer, Sims Construction, they came out and put this pipe in. And then to get the bin completely empty, we do have to use the old pipe, but that is going to alleviate a lot of headaches and it's a quicker pipe, bigger pipe. That will be awesome. Now from here, you can also see the new cushion boxes. There, there, every bin. What is a cushion box? When this grain is coming down this pipe, it's coming at a high rate of speed. So that cushion box slows that grain down and drops it straight down. All these ones were from 2000. They were all wore out, every one of them. None of them were working the greatest. Every year I was having to climb up here, patch them, mess with them, unplug them. It's getting really old, so that was all fixed. Also, I'm not going up there right now, but the top of the leg, there were several parts that were fixed up there. So our leg was only running at half capacity, which sucked. This is only a 3,500 bushel leg, so we were only dumping less than 2,000 bushel. Probably right at 2,000. It'd take about 30 minutes to unload a truck. There's a couple pieces up there that were just wore out and a lot of grain was coming right back down the top of the leg and then back down to the bottom. It wasn't dumping out just like it was supposed to. Got that fixed, got new inspection doors up there, all good things. So is the place 100% perfect? No, but there's been a lot of improvements that were quicker and easier to do. I think Sims were only here for a couple days and just happened to be while I was on vacation. So that's why you guys didn't see any of it. But we don't have a 150 foot crane to do this work so that's why we have to rely on our dealer i guess we could rent the crane but um I, there's some jobs i just don't don't want to do myself i don't even know if you can rent a crane actually now a couple other upgrades i'd like to do here several of these bins still have concrete floors I'd like to put new floors in them and then we have grain view gsi grain view on this bin that's what that little that's what that little piece right there is and I'll show you the box down there. We've had that for a couple years. I'd like to put that on maybe one other bin over here. It's a bigger bin. It's where we have most of our beans at. I'd like to put that there. But for now, let's go down. Let's not go the expressway, so I'm going to put you guys down. That's going to be awesome. I haven't loaded out here yet, but I'm going to have to soon. That's going to be so much faster. With all the improvements so far, that's... Pretty excited for that one. I guess the cushion boxes are big because I don't have to risk life, limb, and pursuit of happiness to go fix those in the middle of harvest. This grain facility is a good example of why site location is pretty critical when choosing a place for your grain bins. Part of the reason that we need so many upgrades and updates to this facility, other than it being 50 years old, it is an older location, but a lot of it is the site. They they built this into the side of this bank, I'm sure because they didn't want to sacrifice much farmland, which I understand. There's a seven acre flat field right there, fairly flat field right there that these bins should have been in my opinion. And a lot of this stuff wouldn't need upgraded as far as the foundations, as far as the foundations anyways. Here's the grain view setup. Like I said, I'd like to get that on a couple other bins. Uh, Jim, my father-in-law, he is uh, trying to fix the leveling valve on that semi we were tinkering with yesterday. Went and got some parts for it, so hopefully we'll have three semis up and going. Seems like we got four semis, and usually only half of them are functional. The mate to that truck has been down most of the year. The old black freight shaker's getting a rebuild on the top end. Hard to tell what that'll cost, but it's got a C15 in it. I kind of like the truck. Looking very professional with your shirt tucked, Jim. Hey, buddy. Ugh. Apparently we're coming out of the field pretty frickin' dry, but heavy. Good test weight. Say it's not good. Those hubs have an oil bath in it, and for all that dust to be on that wheel, that has to mean that we've lost some oil. Is that what you'd figure? Obviously, the dust just likes that rim. Yes. Now, this one is not clean. Don't get me wrong, we're not on a mere finish, but. So, we're kind of hoping that that is from where they put a new tire on that wheel. 
Some kind of tire lube is what we're hoping. We'll know more when we get that cap up there and check it. The other one's got film on it, but it's not quite bad. Now, since we're gonna load out of here, we have to come over here and change our consigner. This controls how our grain, where it goes once it hits this leg. I want it to go to the loadout. So, come over here, scoot this freaking step ladder out of the way. Step on this here pedal. And turn this pulley to load out, maybe. Went ahead and put a little bit of oil in here. It was a little low. We're gonna see if it, uh, if it leaks anymore. That's the one we need to get empty. So this is an old contract that we're hauling. We're getting like 450 out of this. Feels pretty good. Don't worry though, we'll have plenty of 340. Huh, it's raining corn. It's a little different. When I got here, Jim had that truck that was broke down, loading it. That didn't last long. I already have an airbag going to messed up. So he's pulling around back and he's gonna dump it. Probably right back into the, the pit. It is what it is. So you may be wondering, why are you guys not just hauling out of the field if you want to take some town instead of hauling out of the bin to put more back into the bin? Well, this corn is a year old, just about, about to have a birthday. And we really don't want to keep it that long because eventually start running into quality issues like I said before, this particular bin has uh, something blocking the center sump, so we definitely don't want to put more corn onto that. We want to get this bin empty so we can fix that, and that's kind of why. Also, uh, don't want, we want to make sure we don't have any bugs in the bottom of the bin, so you can get bugs in the bottom, like usually it'd be on the bottom layer of corn. We'll make sure that's not happening, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll fill it. Also, Cargo is relatively not busy right now, and at some point it will be busy this year. I'd rather haul in there now and have room in the bins when everybody else is hauling in there. Yeah, there's the crippled truck. I think it's just an airbag. We kind of got it fixed, uh, but not really. If you missed it yesterday, we have a leveling valve not working. Basically, when we dump the air, it's not uh, it's not working. Like if we dump. So when we dump trucks at cargo, especially because you're dumping so quickly, we dump the air out of the airbags. Well, that thing, when you do that, it would not refill. So our solution was just not dump the airbags. Not the greatest solution, but I mean, it's a harvest fix. If you know, you know. This be the last loads of the day. Good news is they're open tomorrow. So finish cleaning this bin out so we can start filling it again tomorrow is my hope. We haven't started to sweep yet though. There's like five loads once the sweep starts up. Maybe maybe six with this big bin. So over there we have a problem. Some wasp spray. We got a wasp head inside that bin. I don't like that. Well, now we're a three semi band again. This is the other truck that's been fixed twice today. I sent Jim and the one I've been driving just because I knew it wasn't gonna break down. Being close to four o'clock, this way he doesn't get stuck in town with a broke down truck. Apparently we are getting to the sweep. It's running intermittently. I only need about 300 bushel to get this truck loaded. Well, that's gonna be all the hauling. Let's see what else we get into. It's five o'clock. My brother's boy plays a football game over at the high school tonight. I think we're gonna all go to that and then work on cleaning these bins out tomorrow too. I guess the car is open Saturday. That's odd. Morning. You ever lose your key fob? Happened to me. I don't know where my truck keys is. I absolutely dislike those key fobs. But anyways, let's not start the day off with negativity. We are finishing cleaning that bin out. I'm going after the Milwaukee Power Broom. Because I feel like it'll be very useful in this circumstance. Somewhere over here we have a Milwaukee Power Broom. I believe it's in here. Ah! Yes, found it.
It would appear I brought the correct vehicle for this task. You see me going down the road, just mind your business. Nothing to see here. A little busy today. I guess if you're in that line, but we got dry corn, so we're right to the front. one more time and clean that stuff up in the middle and then we will clean it by hand the best we can and this bin will be ready to go hey guys thanks for watching if you would do me a favor thumbs up the video subscribe to the channel and i promise you the next videos have a lot more to do with well that and a lot less to do with just all in corn